All right, guys, so today's a new day. And what I did yesterday, I didn't film it or anything. This I cleaned up these um, brake brake dust shields. They were really, really rusted. So I grinded down the rust and it was just surface rust. But like you can see some of the indentments in this one right here. That it was all groovy. It was weird. Cleaned everything good and uh, went up into my shelves back there behind this toolbox. And um, I, I remember I had some VHT, a high temp paint. So I grabbed that bottle and realized that I thought it was black, but it was silver. I was like, ah, fuck yeah, I'll just spray it. Let's so have the bottle ready, and then that's what I did. Sprayed that yesterday. Cleaned them up pretty damn good and sprayed it. Same here. The two coats, both sides. So it should be good. So what I'm gonna do today is finally get around to installing the brakes, I mean the brake dust shield, and then doing the wheel bearings, the hubs and everything, and then uh, take the brake caliper out and put the 861 in. I'm sure it fits, and I don't think I need any special tools, but hey, we'll find out. And right here is that hub that we did a while back. And with the, um, the brake rotor on, I'm not sure if this is put in the correct way, but uh, I'll find out. I'm gonna go to Google it right now and see where those bolts are supposed to be, this side or the other side, I am unsure. And then we can piece everything together and bolt it up. So let me go figure this out real quick and I'll keep you guys posted. So quick Google search and as you can see right there, boom. The bolts are in the back. Hold up, let me see, there's another one. Oh, this is a blurry photo right here. Back. Just gonna piece this together real quick for you guys. Sure, last got these from AutoZone. This is just down the street. Here's the hub fully refreshed on the inside, so you can see there. Same back here, too. All packed new seals. Okay. Okay, now it's pieced together. Looking good, looking good. Um, now is to open the rest of this hardware right here. In this hardware bag. Let me clean this counter though. Open the rest of this cap, front wheel, just locking it. Interesting, huh? You guys pause that and read that. I'll put that to the side. Oh, 
right there. Oh, one of these locking rings. Another locking ring. I'm focused. So one side is on, well it's just hand tightened on. Now I'm just gonna repeat and do the same on the other side and I'll put y'all on the time lapse of me doing that. So let's get to it. So I thought I recorded a clip of um, me showing you guys how to tighten the the nut that holds in the whole hub assembly with the, the brakes and everything. But um, I can I can show you guys where I got the information and how to tighten that. It's off of a YouTube video. Um, Auto House Z, so I'll show you guys right here what to search up to learn about how to tighten that that nut. Guys, go on YouTube and search up uh, CM Auto House, and you guys can also search up um, CM Auto House A86 wheel bearing adjustment. I'll show you guys how to um, adjust that um, that wheel bearing nut. And this is really, really good information here. Oops. I hit that Cheeto commercial. But yeah, it's it's a really, really good informative video on how to do that. I thought I recorded everything, but I didn't. So check that video out. And uh, yeah, that's just pretty much how you guys install all that. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.